Hello everyone, this is Vin from Extreme Digital Productions and I'm here to show you a good tip on how to get your skies to look better when time is of the essence. So here we go. Uh, so basically I have an image here of a sky which I just grabbed from the web just for this purpose. Uh, some Because a lot of people ask me what's the best way to animate a sky without having to cut it up into little pieces. Because traditionally a lot of people that I know uh, when they do a sky, the first thing they think of is to separate different layers of the sky like this and offsetting the position keyframes just a little further apart for each one. So basically, it'll look something like this. The only problem I have with this is that if you see around the edges here, it, you will have to do some painting in to, uh, to fill in those gaps when it goes off the screen. Now, uh, I found an easier way and, uh, and something I've been using for uh, many years now and I think it works great. So basically, we're going to do the same thing over here because the other way takes a lot of time. You have to set it up and it could be a real pain in the ass after a while. So... Uh, so here we go. We got this image here, same image. And what I did here was I cut it in half for the first part. So that would be my horizon because you don't want the horizon to move when we do this effect. So, uh, and the effect is very simple actually because actually what I'll be using is the uh, corner pin. So let me see, corner pin. All right, I will take the corner pin and I will drag it onto the cloud layer of the layer that I want to move, not the one that has the uh, the mat on it, which I obviously put on the wrong one. So fix that, put that over here. And this is where the beauty of the plug comes in. Uh, you may or may not have heard of this technique before, but uh, again, I've been using this for many years and not many people know it, so I just want to make sure everybody can get some really cool looking uh, sky moves with this. So what you do is you have the corner pin here, which actually, like the like name says, it just corner pins the corners of the image. And what you want to do is you want to pull the left, top left side or right side, whichever one you feel comfortable with. You're moving out like this, just a little bit farther out than when you so now it's a little skewed on one side and the right side is still in the exact same position. So what you want to do is you want to set your keyframes for the corner pin and then move over to like four seconds like I have it here. Go to the last frame and what you want to do is now you want to take the, the, the uh, corner pin that you moved, move it back into its original position and then take the other side and move it away in the same distance as you did in the first one. So what happens is it's uh, when you stretch an image, it gets it stretches more onto the top, and as it gets down to the bottom, it's less and less. So what happens now is with just two keyframes, you could get a cool looking sky that looks a little bit more natural than if you had to cut it up and make it 3D, which takes a lot of more time to render. It's a simple technique and uh, I think anybody uh, should be able to use it uh, effectively. So I hope this little uh, tip uh, helped everybody out. If it did, uh, please let me know that it worked. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so I'm just trying to spread the word. All right, so uh, thank you very much for viewing and uh, thanks. Thank you.